This is new, staying at a casino. And we're on the stage right now. Yeah, Look. this is pretty cool. Look. Boom. We are right into Virginia City, a haunted mining town. Very cool. We've never parked the RV in a spot where we have access to so many amenities. Tons. And it's definitely the only RV park where you can do this. Where you can take your life in your own hands yeah. and do something really thrilling, possibly stupid. <laughs> ah! 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 We're hitched up and we are heading out of South Lake Tahoe. I'm kind of sad because we didn't get to do nearly as much as I wanted to. It's a beautiful area, so I can't wait to come back and explore it some more. We hear it's pretty awesome in the winter too, so yeah. maybe that will be something on our agenda. empty it is when it's not a weekend. Turn right on Lake Tahoe Boulevard. I am sad that we're leaving. I really enjoyed this area a lot. The trip today isn't very long. It's only about 60 miles or so to get to Reno. Daisy's thrilled. We call her fancy feet now <laughs> because of the poor little haircut she had to get. Come here. Were you excited to see us? Give me your silly feet. Hi. Your silly feet. Hi. Hello. <laughs> hey, Daisy. You want a treat? She Love needs the summer, the summer puppy cut to kind of even out her poor little chicken legs. We were really looking forward to this stop because it was something totally new for us. Yeah, we'd heard about staying at casinos before, but we've never done it. Okay, 580 heading into Reno is now on our Cracky Roads list. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, yeah. Take exit 34 on the right to Mill Street. We decided to stay at the Grand Sierra Resort in Reno. It was a full-on RV park there. New staying at a casino, an yeah. RV park at a casino. That's totally new for us. Totally new. As we were pulling in, we could see that they're getting ready for one of their biggest events of the year, which is Hot August Nights. I'm not sure how many other casinos have full RV parks like this. If you've stayed at some before, let us know in the comments. I think that the table's okay, right? Our first day there, we were lucky enough to get a property tour with one of the managers, Jake Tribulski. I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> he took us all around, but he showed us the pool area, which was really, really cool. They have a resort pool, an infinity pool, which is adults only. There's also a kids splash area, a bar, and a fire pit. There are also some hot tubs. And they've got VIP cabanas and day beds if you like to hang out in the shade. When we went inside, we were greeted by this cherry blossom installation, which was this crystal installation. And there are over 600,000 crystals in there and the butterflies change colors. It was just really, really a beautiful entry. Yeah, and of course it's a casino, so there's tons to do as far as casino games there. Then he took us through the Grand Theater. This thing is huge. It occupies nearly an acre of space and has played host 
to musicals, dance performances, orchestras, Grammy award-winning musical artists, rock and rollers. We got a cool backstage tour of all the dressing rooms and where the artists signed the walls. That was pretty neat. A lot of history in this theater. Then we even got to go on stage with that, which I thought was pretty neat. And on this giant stage in the back was this giant airplane that was actually built inside the building for an 80s cabaret show called Hello Hollywood Hello. Yeah, it was too big for them to remove it after that cabaret show, so it's still there to this day. We're on the stage right now. Yeah, look, this is pretty cool. Look. And there's the I seats. I can sing and dance. Yeah. <laughs> and do what you're facing the wrong way. Yeah. You gotta, gotta, face, gotta face the stage. <laughs> that's all the moves I got. That's it. That's it. That's, that's all. That's, that's about two more moves than I have. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing that I thought was really cool on this property was it had a driving range. It's one of the kinds where you hit the ball into the water and they're floating. They have islands out there that you can try to hit as targets. I had fun with that. And the greens are even lit up so you can go out at night and hit some balls too, which is nice because it's a lot cooler in the evenings. Oh yeah. Later that night, we went into downtown Reno for dinner at La Familia and it was delicious. Oh yeah. After dinner, we decided we were just going to walk around a little bit and try to walk off all those calories. And try to walk off all those <laughs> calories. Ghost hunt. <laughs> Ghostbusters, we got our rig set up with the uh, plasma. <clears throat> what are those things called? Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a few years since I've seen Ghostbusters. It's been a bit. But really, we're going to Virginia City, which mm -hmm. is supposed to be a, an old haunted mining town. It looks really, really cool online. But we're going to cruise around this little um, RV park. It's a pretty big RV park, actually. Yeah. First, just to show you guys. Check out some of the cars. And you found a route that um, avoids highways to get to yep. Virginia City, right? It's got a nice little twisty on there, so it'll be fun. Sweet. Let's do it. Let's go. It has 50 and 30 amp sites, and the prices range from $40 to $60 a night. The ride to Virginia City, of course, had us getting out of town first, so we took the Veterans Expressway to State Road 341. The ride to Virginia City was about 40 minutes, and it's southeast and a couple thousand feet up from Reno.
As we were heading out of town, we realized how windy of a day it was. That route goes up the Geiger grade, and we pulled off to check out Geiger Lookout Point, which is really neat. It was just a really pretty place to pull over, stretch our legs, and to look down onto the town of Reno and down in the valley. I'm just gonna keep my helmet on in case I trip. <laughs> You're not strapped down though. Yeah, that's true. This is not too bad of a hike. No. Ooh. Dr. DM Geiger, pioneer and road builder. Wow. Wow. Up here. Wow. We. Windy up here. Before we get back on the road, we would love it if you would click the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would really help us out. We really appreciate it. Along 341, there are plenty of places and turnouts where you can pull over to either let traffic go by you or if you just want to pull over and take pictures. We reached Geiger Summit, which is 6,789 feet. Reno is 4,500 feet, and Virginia City is 6,200 feet. So we climbed up a lot. It was a really pretty, curvy, twisty ride. Getting into Virginia City was pretty neat to see all the cars that came in from the Hot August Nights event. The streets were lined with classic cars. There's a spot right here. Yeah, ten dollars right there on the end. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, this is a cool little town for sure. Yeah. Definitely stuck in time. I like it. We just asked the parking attendant where he recommends, and he recommends the place we were already going to go, yeah. which is the this palace. Is the place that I looked into and found. Yep. But he didn't believe me. No, it's always good to get I know, locals' I'm recommendations. I know, I'm kidding. I know, I'm All right. Jokes. Let's do it. Eighteen forty six, this picture was taken. Oh, really? Yeah, the mm -hmm. courthouse. Mm -hmm.
bitch. I can't help myself. That was a, a decent lunch. The flies made it authentic. Oh, you could go. We're filming this way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. The flies made it authentic. Yeah, I think they were very authentic Western flies. Yes. And we now, beat the crowd for sure. You can see lots of people out here waiting. We're just going to walk up and down and go into wherever we feel like going into. There's a lot to do and see in Virginia City. We noticed that there was a trolley. I didn't even realize that they had that available, but it is a two and a half mile, 20 minute narrated tour of Virginia City. And I guess it's open year round, weather permitting. shooting gallery. You ready to shoot? Oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh my god. What do you want me to hit? What do I I want you to hit? Oh, try that out. Try the one on that guy's hand. It's over, Parker. <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. It's everything you ever dreamed of. Mm -hmm. You gotta have some of those. After you just had your shootout, you have to have some mm -hmm. ice cream. <laughs> You only get the ice cream if you win this year down. And you did. Good job, there. Of course we had to eat, but we also took a little walk around town, which we love to do. We also took an underground mine tour, which is really neat. Yep, we took the tour at Ponderosa Saloon and Mine. It is much cooler down below, and it can also get a little bit claustrophobic if you don't like tight spaces. So know that ahead of time, bring a jacket, or maybe don't go down there if you are claustrophobic. Our guide, Daniel, was super informative. He did ensure us that they put in four times the amount of wood they needed to actually shore up the walls and stuff, so we felt pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Check in with us as early as possible. Make reservations when you can. Time info will always be on the wall. We're gonna stay open until at least five o'clock tonight. We're giving you a few bits and pieces of the tour, but really you need to see it in person. All right, welcome, welcome to our little underground mine tour. And for this little mine you found is an 1859 claim that was built by Best and Belcher in the 1800s. And technically, the mine was behind the building back when we are still Utah. We are not Nevada quite yet when they established us. And right before then, it was Alta California when all this used to be Mexico. My favorite map I ever found is this one because it's a cross section, kind of like they chopped the mountain in half so we can see what's under us like an ant farm. And the mine we're going into is this tiny little blue circle with a line through it off center to the right. And I know that looks really tiny, but that's actually about five stories underground where we're going today. It looks puny because the other mines used to be really big next to it and they make it look small. Most of these pockets of silver, they're actually bigger than buildings. The small ones, they're over hundreds of feet tall, and the big pockets were over a thousand feet tall. Made out of mostly silver, but a little bit of gold and wrapped into it as well. And the government found this mountain at the perfect time we were, when we were fighting the Civil War. When you need money, you bring out a few people to dig, and they took the mines well below 300 stories straight down into the ground a few times.
it's so dark. <laughs> At its peak, the population was 25,000. As of the 2020 census, the population of Virginia City was only 787, so they lost a few. After the mine tour, we just kind of rode around a bit, up and down the street, and then headed home. That evening, I was really wiped out, but Chad was able to get out and go check out some of the cars that were out for Hot August Nights, and he was even able to catch a little bit of the concert going on. The concert was Herman's Hermits. We are very lucky that we decided to take the motorcycle to Virginia City when we did, because the day after was when all this smoke started coming in. There's a big wildfire about two and a half hours away from here, the Dixie wildfire. And we have been dealing with bad air quality ever since so oh, yeah. it's a little bit better today but you can still you can see you can barely see the mountains back there but there are some back there but it's been kind of challenging to be outside so i just changed our filters out from here and from the last location with smoke and they were just nasty we've only had these air filters in for a month and they were toast <laughs> During hot August nights, they have an auction for three days for all these classic cars here, which there are some really sweet rides. I don't really know much about cars, but I can look at them and say, well, that That's was cool. pretty, that was pretty, <laughs> yeah. and there are a lot of pretty ones here. They even had an RV with a trailer for auction here. There was so much going on in auctioneers, and it was just a whole bunch of noise and a whole bunch of people bidding and cars, and it was crazy. Five, 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 on that thing. <laughs> this should be fun. It's kind of like a Superman ride. Oh, I think I am lucky that I haven't actually seen it go since we've been here. So I don't know in my mind what's in store. It's going to be all a surprise. Is this a sign? Like we shouldn't do it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a drop. I don't. I've done one before just like this. I know what they're going to do. We're going to pull us up to that pole on the end down there and let us go. Yikes. We're doing it. It's the ultimate rush, it says. <laughs> Tower height, 180 feet tall. Speeds reach 65 miles an hour. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I shine, we shine, you already know. Go ahead and interlock your arms together. Oh boy. You keep your feet on it or you'll yeah. get a wedgie, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No wedgies. I do not want a wedgie. <laughs> I think it's going to feel the floor fall from beneath you. Oh no! 
face first. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow! They were kidding! Once you reach that top of the tower, you're here to see three, two, one, fly. You'll reach over. Pull that words tab. Don't pull it any sooner. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you guys do, make sure you guys keep your legs straight the whole time. Or okay. else you guys will get a massive wedgie. We do not want yeah. the wedgie. No. Hands no are wedgie. locked just like that, holding on to your own wrist until you guys reach the top. Have fun, guys. Okay. It's hard to breathe. Well, we're doing it now. We're going. We're going up. Here we go! Oh my god, I Ready? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was a blast. Woo! Nothing like another day at the office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what'd you think? I think that was pretty fun. That initial drop was, wow, that was scary. Yeah. Did you, uh, no wedgie? No wedgie. Yeah, me either. Good. I got my legs locked pretty tight in this bar, though. I kind of wish we weren't spinning around. That's yeah. That's a little bit. I feel a little bit dizzy. A little bit. We'll see how we do once we get down. If ever. Because I guess we just slowly wind down here until we stop. Both of us grab it? Okay. Okay. That's good because I feel like all the blood is in my hands and my head. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty tight on my torso. It doesn't matter where we go. We have never been in an RV park where we have access to so many amenities. We got that little bit of everything. There are several fast casual restaurants. Do you want a massage? Do you want to get your toes painted? You can go shopping. You can even get married here. You got your movie. That popcorn smells good. Oh, it does. There's an entire wing that is an arcade. So lots of video games and virtual reality, axe throwing, escape rooms, lots for the kids to do. Tons. And you can bowl. Bowling going on right there. Choose from six different restaurants and restaurant row. We've eaten at three of the five here so far. We're going to go to another one right yep. now. And you can play putt-putt golf. You can also take a go-kart or a bumper car out for a spin. And that wraps up Reno. We'll see you next time in Granby, Colorado.